There is a desire within each of us, in the deep center of ourselves, that we call our heart. Every person on this earth yearns to love, to be loved, and to know love. I'm convinced love is the fundamental energy of the human spirit, the fuel on which we run, the wellspring of our vitality, and grace, which is the flowing, creative activity of love itself, is what makes all goodness possible. Love should come first. It should be the beginning of and the reason for everything. Johnny, when I first met you, I knew you would fit right in. I've seen how happy you have made my daughter, and I've never seen my daughter's eyes sparkle as much as I've seen her with you. I'm pretty sure you made my daughter the happiest woman on the earth, and I gained a new son today. 19-year-old Bailey literally couldn't have dreamed a better person to build a future with. I know she would be so proud of you both. Johnny is a reflection of the hard work you've put into yourself in making it possible to have such a healthy and deserved relationship. I've been lucky enough to be a part of Johnny's life, Johnny and Bailey's life, for um, the entirety of their relationship. And I can very confidently say that Johnny is a much better man with Bailey in his life. It makes me happier than almost any, any other feeling that I could think of. Uh, it's a really special feeling to see him get married today. love of my life. I promise to never leave your side. I will stand with you through any storm that comes our way. I will be present during the good times and strong-willed through the hard times. I promise to treat you like the special soul that you are. I will cherish you how you deserve and nothing less. My faithfulness to you will never waver. I'm yours and yours only in this life and the next. I love you and I will always love you. I commit myself to you as your wife, to learn and grow with, to explore and adventure with, to respect you in everything as an equal partner, joy and pain, strength and weariness, direction and doubt for all the risings and settings of the sun. We are here today to celebrate the lives of Bailey and Johnny and to bear witness as they join their lives together in marriage. I know I speak for Bailey and Johnny when I say they're so glad to have all of you here to celebrate this moment with them. 
Today, we're gathered here to not just commemorate the reading of vows, signing of a legal license, or a first kiss as a married couple, but rather the binding of two souls and a love that will be forever. I'm ready to It seems just like yesterday, we were off to your first day of kindergarten. And here we are today, on your wedding day. I vow to protect, honor, and hold you down no matter what. I choose you today tomorrow and every day that follows. I love you more than you could ever imagine. And I promise to forever be your best friend. <laughs> Johnny and Bailey, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another, in the sight of myself and these witnesses, by the power vested in me by the state of Nebraska, it is my pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Eastwalk. Well done, Jeremy. Got him married. Got him married. Got him married. Now the fun starts. Just remember, like I told you when I handed my little girl off to you today, this is not Walmart. There are no refunds. <laughs> I love you dearly. I'm so thankful to celebrate a wonderful day for you and Johnny. But I believe the best days are found in the little things, words, and memories you'll find unexpectedly with each other along the way. Since you've officially found a new lifelong roommate, I can no longer claim the title. But you two will always, always have a place in my home and my heart, and I'll always be in your corner. Raise your glass, and let's get to partying. Here's to the newlyweds. I love you guys. Love you. Ready to fall